Ever wanted a quick and easy to use quest plugin for either a Minecraft event or server? Well, this plugin has you covered, as you can custom make and set up quests within just minutes. And with an inbuilt system which can create thousands of quests, players will always have something unique to do on your server. So I'm now going to go into how you can create quests from scratch, so you can see how this plugin both operates and if it's what you're looking for to buy. So for the sake of the tutorial, my goal by the end of this is to have 5 mining quests which I can link to this guy behind me. So to start all you need to do is slash quest, basically everything you need will be inside this GUI. And before you do anything, you'll first need to set up the rewards. These are the custom bits of loot which the players will get once they actually complete the quest. So if you go into this GUI and click on add new reward pool, you can quickly and easily add all the items you want as rewards. Now that I have all the rewards in this GUI, which all have chances and the minimum and maximum amounts that you can get, this part of the section is done. So you can head back to the main GUI. And now from here, we can start making the actual quests. So if we go into the quest creator and click create new quest, you'll be brought up with a bunch of different options. And this shows all the main options of the quest type that you want. So you can either mine, place, break, smelt, enchant, repair, deliver, fish, consume, survive, locate, craft, breed, kill, tame, shear, or harvest. For the sake of this, because we're doing mining related quests, we're probably going to use mine, maybe deliver some diamonds or gold, uh, repair a pickaxe, stuff like that. So for the sake of this, I'm going to click mine. And let's say I want to mine 64 stones. So I pick stone, and let's whack the amount up to 64 and then confirm that. And then we can use the quest rewards we chose earlier to so click that. And then we can also set a timer of how long I'll have to do this. So let's go with, let's just say six minutes for now and then click confirm. And then you'll be brought with a summary. So it says mine 64 stone with nine possible rewards and in six minutes. So let's just click that. Then if we go back in here, you can see that the quest is here. Now, because I'm going to want a few quests for this NPC behind me, I'm going to go ahead and create five more quests. Now, after a couple of minutes, I've made another four quests. So you can see here, I've got my 64 diamonds, deliver five gold blocks, locate a lush caves, repair three diamond pickaxes, and kill 20 cave spiders. Now, with these, each and every one of these, you can actually change the description that is given. So if you just left click this one, deliver five gold block. If I just want to do blocks, plural, I can just add an S on the end and confirm that. And now that we have these five quests, we can go ahead and start linking this to the NPC behind me. So what you want to do is return back to the main menu and then head into NPC linking. And from here, you want to create a new quest pool. And from this, you click all the quests that you want to go into this one NPC. So I'm going to click these five quests that we've just made and then confirm those. It contains five quests. And then basically to link this to the guy behind me, you want to shift left click and then you'll have one minute to punch the entity that you want to link it to. So this guy, I'm just going to punch him. And then as you can see in chat, successfully linked quest pool to the entity. So if I go in survival and then right click this guy, you can see he has quests. Now you're pretty much done. So if I click this, deliver five gold blocks. And then you can see in chat, six minute timer. And all this writing in the GUI and the writing in chat is customizable. So you can make it unique to your server. And now let's say I want to complete this. Let me just go into creative get some gold blocks, and then give this to this guy, we'll get the rewards. Boom, and there you go. Quest completed, and we've got some of the rewards that we made earlier. If you have any more questions, then feel free to join the Discord and make a ticket.